Hi everyone, my name's Jane and I'm going to be doing some programmes on pregnancy. Now I'm 31 weeks pregnant and we're going to have programmes from before you even find out you're pregnant all the way through your pregnancy to different labour techniques and also beyond, so into childhood. So we're going to have demonstrations, we're going to have classes that I'll be attending and reporting back to you all, we're going to have talks with midwives, health visitors, nutritionists, fitness people, anything you need to know. So, shall we get cracking? I'm going to try a bit of pregnancy yoga. Uh, now, I've always had a bit of a stigma about yoga because um, I'm not very supple and also I do have um, an ongoing back complaint. So, I'm going to go in, try a lesson and also have an interview with the owner of the company, Faye Fenton, just to see how this helps pregnant ladies and um, see if it can help me in my pregnancy. Let's go and have a look, shall we? Right, okay, so can you tell me a little bit about um, pregnancy yoga and how it, how it helps within pregnancy? Yes, it's a great way to prepare for a calm birth, um, an empowered birth. So it's not about saying this one right way to have, to have the birth that you want, but it kind of gives women confidence, um, puts you back in touch with your natural birthing instincts helps with the breathing, which is really useful for pain control when you're, when you're in labour um, and really helps you deal with all those niggles that you have during pregnancy, so any pelvic pain, any backache, um, can help with sleep and then once you've, you've you know, hopefully gone and have a confident birth it makes you feel like superwoman once you're a mum. And do you um, do it for pregnancy and after pregnancy as well? Yes, we run uh, dedicated antenatal yoga classes mm -hmm. and we also have postnatal Pilates classes which are really popular, um, which is great for, for helping you rebuild your core muscles after birth, restoring balance. If you're juggling a baby on one hand and you know office work on the other hand, often you end up with hip problems, so mm -hmm. it's really good for addressing those kinds of issues. And then we have gentle Hatha yoga as well, which is good for, for, for gen general getting back into exercise once you have your baby. Now, my main question really is, I am not a supple person. When I was little, I went to gymnastics and struggled with the forward roll. Um, so yoga to me has always been um, something that I never thought I'd be, I'd be able to do. How would you um, describe it to people like me who's always had a bit of a phobia against come to pregnancy yoga have never stepped on a yoga mat or a pilates mat ever mm. um, and so everyone's a beginner and it's really not about being able to touch your toes especially with a, a with a bum a, a bum <laughs> can't even get my socks on let alone my toes yeah exactly <laughs> your flexibility will improve your strength will improve mm -hmm. but it's just as much about protecting your back throughout throughout pregnancy and, and beyond it's about getting in tune with your breath it's about becoming more supple, but in a very mindful way. Okay, so I've just finished my first pregnancy yoga class and I have to say, I feel a lot more open. Uh, I didn't realise how stiff I had actually become, especially in my hips. Uh, some of the movements we did, I did find sort of pulled a bit on my hips and also inside my inner leg. don't know what those muscles are, but my inner leg muscles hurt a little bit. So, I think I will be coming back. Um, I think it's got rid of my stigmatism about yoga, where I thought it was all sort of, um, you've got to be really supple and stick your leg over your head, that kind of thing. It's nothing like that at all. It was all very gentle, very calming. And now, I'm going to go home and possibly tackle the washing and ironing. Oh joy for me.